everybody. I'm Susan. Welcome to Plateau Art Studio, Art for Kids. I'm here to help you along today with an art project, so let's see what we're working on today. Hi everybody. Today is Peter Max Day. <laughs> we're going to talk a little bit about pop art. Pop art is, um, uh, let's see, it's, it's really bold, bright colors and lots of times it's something that repeats something that we use all the time. You can look up Peter Max and he did um, uh, like Marilyn Monroe, but he it was like silhouettes uh, repeated in different colors and, and usually really bright colors. So for Valentine's Day, because it's February, I he had some... Uh, some hearts that he did and I've done this in class before so this was one of the samples and uh, we're gonna use patterns you can keep it really simple or if you want to use a lot of patterns or add a couple more hearts that's up to you so here is one of my samples here and I drew a square around with some circles some zigzags some dots which were used by like probably looks like lots of times I'll teach my kids how to use the bottom of the eraser dip it and make dots and then smaller dots can be made with the end of a brush too so anyway um, yeah so Peter Max was born in 1937 I believe and a very very long life and uh, was very well known for his pop art. So here's here's my sample. And we'll do a heart because it is February. Here's one of Peter Max's. These did not print as clear as I would like them to have printed, but um, at least you can kind of get an idea. So um, this one I thought was interesting because if you study it, he used the warm colors on one side and the cool colors on the other. So um, this one, uh, again, is a heart with all his bright colors. They're very free-flowing, right? There's not a lot of control. And it's not very, um, uh, you know, real meticulous and, and uh, perfect. Like, it just lots of color put on there, however he felt like doing it. Here's another one with double heart. Peter Max is his signature, Max. <laughs> Again, notice the warm colors on this side, the reds and oranges and yellows on this side, and the green, lighter blue, and dark blue. Then he complemented those two by using um, these colors, kind of the orangey red yellows. Like it looks like he picked those up on his brush and just went and painted that and then turned it around and did the same thing with the, the blues here. It kind of pulls that together, all right? So well, I thought that was kind of interesting. A lot of his work kind of had the warm colors and the cool colors. So we're gonna do that on ours. So let's get started. You have a piece of paper with a heart on it, all right? You can trace it or you don't have to, but they always show up nicer if you trace it. If you want, you can draw a square around, like my original sample. He has a few like this as well, where there's a square, okay. Um, what happened to that other one? Oh, this one is a, a print of one of my students that did this uh, several, several years ago, and I just love this one. I thought it was really interesting that a, um, five-year-old did this and I just thought that was amazing so I love the fact of the warm colors just like Peter Max had used his colors on one side and then the uh, cool color or another color on the other so he has his warm colors and then filled this in with greens and blues and on this side his orange and uh, dark I think this was supposed to be purple or maybe just a really dark blue because they're all kind of the strong primary and secondary colors. Primaries are your yellow, red, and blue. Secondaries are your green, orange, and purple. Green, orange, and purple are made of two colors, two of the primary colors. So, uh, all right, so let's get started here. Um, 
you can do kind of whatever you want. I want you to draw your design. Use pattern. Here I used a heart in the corners. You can use a pencil first. Don't use a marker just to kind of start making your design because you, if you decide you don't like it, you can't erase it. So um, I want you to do that. Put me on pause while you come up with your design around your heart. Here is another one. Okay, this is the one we'll, I'll be painting with you where I have the heart. And then I just wanted to show you two different completely styles here where I have the heart and I did a small heart on top of that one. And I'm gonna do my cool colors here and my warm colors here and then the complimentary here. And we'll talk about that as I go along, okay? So come up, you pause me and come up with your design. I think you have just the heart. So if you want another heart, you want something around um, you want some polka dots in the background. Um, this one's always really fun with like you can make it like a sunshine without the square. You could do that. Like big sunshine all the way around. Oh and the other thing in your kit of this Peter Max, you have a coloring page that has different designs around the heart. Very similar to Peter Max's work. So you can take a look at that and get ideas of what your design is around your heart, okay? So after you've come up with your design, then revisit me and we'll start painting, all right? So now I'm gonna start painting and working on this one. So do put me on pause and when you're all done, then revisit me after you've got your pattern, okay? Of your drawing around your heart. All right, so this one I started out with blue on the one side and orange down here because I'm going to follow uh, Peter Max's, uh, a few of his pieces where he does the cool tones and warm tones on one side, well, opposite sides, excuse me. And then the heart, um, I have kind of a, a pink magenta color on this side and I have a new pink that you have that I bought that I like a lot. It's a good color, nice and bold. <laughs> so uh, let's see if you we if you already did your um, what was the one that we did before this project? Uh, oh, the water lilies. I think I taught you how to roll your brush. So if you have curves, big curves. When you start to put your paintbrush down, I do it this way. And if you watch my my thumb, I twirl, and I can change the angle of my brush. Okay, so I can do this, twirl, and I can pull down. Okay, so I can get that curve in there. Okay, so it's something for you to practice. All right. So I want pink on that side and red on the other. And I will blend the two together. You don't have to, you do what you want to do. I'm not gonna make it perfect though. I wanna see some of the brush strokes in there. Okay, so. And then I can use the straight edge right up against that to make a really clean, clean edge there, all right. All right, so now I'm gonna use a little yellow up here and mix a little yellow with my red. What does yellow and red make? <laughs> what is it making? I just want my, the heart to be interesting, so I am gonna play around with some color. And I do like, now you can really see where I have twirled the brush and made that really nice edge. Okay, and I think I'm going to even add a little more up here.
Right there. Okay. I'm gonna kind of get this bold color up there. Now, let's see. I'll do the same thing over here with white. Kind of lighten. I want to lighten the top of the heart. It's just what I kind of want to do. So you do what you want. Maybe the whole heart is pink or red. You're painting on canvas, and I have this sample is just a piece of um, like a heavy, heavy paper. But you're painting on canvas, so your paint will probably do a little better than mine. <laughs> okay, I'm going to add more red in here. And you just work on however you want it to be. Brighter pink, actually, because I have white in there. There we go. Okay. okay. Then this corner down here, I'm just gonna go a little crazy. Let's see what happens with my colors. <laughs> we'll just see. I'm gonna just swipe it up like little flames. There. Okay. Done. I'm gonna leave it. Let's see what happens. All right, so now we're going to work on this little one here, which I have blue. And again, there we go. Blue and pink. And if I were to mix those, oh, I still have blue on my brush, <laughs> which will make a little bit of, it'll make it purpley. And the reason I'm putting this kind of cooler colors on this one because I'm going to have warm colors down here. Now, I kind of mixed those and I do have a little, I had a little bit of blue on my brush so it made it kind of purple, which is kind of cool. If I do that, I'm going to make it I don't want too much purple there. You might want more purple up there, but I don't. So there. Um, all right. And have that the way I want it. Let's see if we can get. Oh. Yep. Okay. That's fine. All right. Now, um, let's do uh, some more blue around here. And if I paint over this and I have my marker on there uh, I, to trace. If you used a permanent marker to trace with, then if you paint you can still see it. So um, that's why I use a lot of that. So I am going to paint right over those because I can still see where to paint. Okay. All right, so I have my blue on one side. And now I am going to clean your brush. Anytime you switch uh, colors, make sure you clean your brush. Okay, always, always clean your brush. Unless you're mixing, um, but always clean your brush. All right, so now I'm gonna have to be a little careful. Going right in around, not to go over my heart. All right, so I do want to kind of mix these colors here. I'm gonna go over the top of the orange a little bit. That's just me. You don't have to do that. That's your artwork. And remember, whatever design you come up with, <laughs> you have to paint it. So you do want to make sure um, that you haven't made such a a big, you know, um, a design that is so much on there that you have to paint it all and then you get tired of doing it. So make sure whatever design that you came up with is, is doable. Okay, there we go. So there's my yellow. And now I'm gonna 
bring this green and yellow down. And when it mixes into my yellow, it gets really nice and bright. Okay. And then I can also, I'm going to have that edge there because I stopped painting there. band of green. When it goes over the blue it'll look like blue green and when it comes down into the yellow it will get brighter. Okay. There. All right. Now, you know what? Let's see. Um, I do have some white. But I think I'm going to carry my blue down. I'm not going to use my white in my colors yet. I'm going to show you how to fill in. What other colors are you going to use? Let's see here. All right, so now we're going to blend these colors, which will get some green not even by adding green, it'll just turn green. Why? Why is it turning green? Because, what do blue and yellow make? That's right. So I can add, oops, let's see. Oh, I'm gonna wash my brush enough to get some of that off of there. I don't want all that green down there. So how am I getting that off? I'm washing my brush, drying it, and just kind of picking some up. And then we'll add more yellow. And that's fine. There we go. There we go. Be careful about where you're mixing and stuff that you don't get um, you kind of made a mess out of that side. Well, that's fine. That's okay, so now I have blended my green and um, I have a little green over here. I have my warm colors and my cool colors. Now, I'm going to go over these with the cool colors. All right, let me grab another brush. And I want um, a round, thinner, smaller brush. Maybe a smaller one. Let me put in a smaller brush in here. I don't have my good round one in here. So this one will do. Oh, there's one. There's one too. Okay. Um, so we're going to use opposite colors. So since this is warm, I'm going to use cool colors on my design. So. I'm going to take some of my blue and add a tiny bit of water because it will it's a little thick so I want a tiny bit of water in it so it flows well it, it can paint with it well okay so I'm going to paint this line with my blue and your design might be different so um, just if you have warm colors on one side and cool colors on the other. Now if you have a little design that will show up really well. Um, then I'm going to use white next to the zigzag. Now these dots, what's another cool color? We've got green coming in, right? So I think a really good opposite color would be uh, maybe, maybe the red in there. I think that would show up really well, um, even though that's a warm color. But since I have green coming in, which is a cool color, I want these dots to really show up. So. I'm going to break the rules of just cool colors 
and do my red match. Okay, so there's that. Now, this is definitely all cool colors here. So, I'm going to use my pink on this line. Gonna do I'm going to show you how to do this um, don't ever do put this on top of your work but um, I'm doing this only for the video okay uh, you can take a pencil eraser and make like perfect little dots okay just so I wanted you to see that I was only doing that just because of the video okay <laughs> So there's that, and you can just leave it. Now, if you want, um, if you know you want more, you can do this little sunshine type. And because I have so much color on here, I'm just gonna use white. Okay, and I think I could go all the way around if I want. Kind of fun. and his beautiful pop art. You can look him up online if you like. Peter Max. And you can see some of his other work. He did other things besides hearts as well. All right. Hopefully I'm not taking too long. And remember, I do move along pretty fast when I'm working on a project. Um, pause me at any time to finish your your projects. You know, whatever stage you're at. So just make sure you you always pause my video until you get to a point where you can join me at the next step. Okay, that's important. Put that one there. Continue here. Oh, I kind of like that. My my pop art, Peter Max heart. <laughs> oh, I so miss seeing everybody in class to see what they come up with. There, I like that. So there we go. And um, again, if you want some like highlights or something on your your heart you can do that and here. there there I'm done there Peter Max I hope he's proud <laughs> so there we have a nice bright pop art uh, Peter Max work of art so um, I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next week or another day that we will explore our next um, February project. Uh, all my February projects are kind of around the hearts uh, for Valentine's Day. So um, I think the next one we have is a watercolor garden of hearts I think is next. So you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time. All right. Bye bye. Well hey everybody. I hope you had fun with that project today. I know I did. So tune in next week. We'll see what we have uh, a new project next week. Okay. Bye-bye now.